Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I want to do a little bit of a different video, still obviously eyeshadow based. As you can see, I have some of my palettes here, but I wanted to go through and talk about some of the previous looks I've created with my palettes and share with you all my favorite look that I have created with each of the palettes within my collection that I have posted on either Instagram or YouTube. If you are interested in seeing more eyeshadow theme content, I always have my Instagram linked in the description box and I am posting two looks a week, I think it is. And then, of course, I do some tutorials on here, talk about my eyeshadow palettes a lot because they are my absolute favorites. So I thought it would be fun today to just go back through the looks that I've created with my palettes and share with you all what my favorite one is. So I do have my entire look collection on Pinterest as well. It is separated by palette, so if you have a palette that I have or you're just looking for inspiration in general, I would suggest checking that out. And you can see all of the looks that I have created and posted. There are so many fun ones. So I think I am going to split this video up into two parts. I do have 70 or 71 palettes within my collection. So I feel like it would get super long if I talked about all of them today. But I do want to talk about at least half of them in today's video. And then I think I'll post the second part to this on Friday. Speaking of which, I am planning on posting two videos a week from here on out, so I'm going to see how that goes. Definitely let me know what video suggestions you guys have for me so I can keep going with a two video a week schedule. I think that is all I have to say for this intro, a little bit of a longer one, but if you are interested in seeing some of my favorite looks with my palettes, keep on watching. So I'm just going to go in the order that I have them listed on my Pinterest and all my spreadsheets and stuff. So first up is my ABH Modern Renaissance. So here is what this one looks like on the inside and I will pop up a picture of my favorite look with this palette. This one was so much fun to create. I really liked the warm tones, which is kind of surprising because my favorite shades in this palette are the more purpley shades, especially like these two together up here, two of my favorite shades within this palette, but I had a lot of fun creating this more warm toned smoky liner look. Some of these pictures are not going to be the best quality, this is a little bit of an older look but I still think this one was super fun and it is one I would kind of like to recreate and see if I could do it better now. All right, next up we have my BH Cosmetics Nouveau Neutrals palette and this is my favorite look with this one. I really enjoy the red tones within this palette. These two shimmers over here are super fun to play around with and even when I wasn't really reaching for color, I still really enjoyed those two. I found those as like a good introduction to color for me, I guess. And I did add a liner on top of this look. There isn't a black shade within this palette, which is typically what I do use for liner. But other than that, this look was all created with this palette. And I can tell you the main focus was these three shades. But this one was a super fun, kind of monochromatic look. Alright, next we have my ColourPop It's a Princess Thing palette. And this is the fav my favorite look with this palette. I absolutely love the shade Thingamabob. The gorgeous silver shimmer here. So that was definitely the star of this look. And I just loved how it turned out. I don't love the angle that I took this picture at. That's kind of a small thing, but I just, I don't take my pictures like that anymore, so this one's kind of weird. But this is another one I would love to recreate now that I'm a little bit better at makeup and see if we could get a nice look out of it as well. 
There are so many fun shades within this palette, even with it being a fairly neutral palette, but I just absolutely love that silver shade, so this look definitely stole the show for me. Alright, next up we have my Tartlet Toasted. A pretty neutral palette, but I did really enjoy creating this look. It's a little bit darker, a little more intense than some of the everyday looks I create with this palette, but it was super fun. You are probably going to notice a theme of these more winged liner looks that are going to be my favorites. That's just a shape that I really love for my eyes. I think it just kind of enhances them a lot nicer than just a normal eyeshadow blending shape. I really just like the sharp winged look on my eyes. So this one was, again, super fun to create. I focused more on these darker colors over here, which honestly are not shades that I reach for a ton out of this palette, especially day to day, but this was a super nice look to just create, be a little more creative with this palette. Alright, next up we have my Glitter Realm A Whole New World palette, and this one is easily one of my favorite palettes to create looks with. So I'll show you the picture of the look that is my favorite. I absolutely love this look. I combined the blues and the purples within this palette to create this look and then used Cave of Wonders as a bit of liner across the upper lash line. But there are so many looks that I've created with this palette. I really want to just include a couple honorable mentions with this one because I have just had so much fun creating looks. I think I have the most looks created with this palette. It's definitely up there if it's not the most. So this one is just so much fun. The color story is super inspiring to me and yeah. So many good things to say about this palette. Absolutely love it. And I have loved pretty much every look I've created with this palette. So next we have my Wet n Wild Game Over palette. This is their Pac-Man collab. This is another one that is super fun to play around with. Got me a little bit more into color. So I'll show you the picture of the look that is probably my favorite from this palette. I do, again, have a lot of favorites from this one just because I feel like I can be a little bit more creative with my color combos with this palette, with the color story that it has. But I am a huge fan of blue and orange eyeshadow together, especially during the summer. That is one of my favorite color combos. And this palette just does that so nicely. I think they work super well together, so... This was a super fun look that I created. This is actually one of the looks that helped me get the pan in this shade. So again, super fun palette to play around with. Absolutely love the colors in here. Alright, next up I have my Milani Soft and Sultry palette. And I don't have a ton of looks that I have created for Instagram or YouTube from this palette, but I will show you what I consider my favorite from the ones I do have. This was just a fun, smoky halo eye. Super pretty and definitely a little bit more dramatic, deeper than I would typically go for on an everyday basis with this palette, especially when I first got it. I've definitely gotten more into color and deepening my looks up recently. So this one is just super fun. Next we have my Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette and this is another really nice everyday palette for me and this is my favorite look from this palette that I've created and I feel like it doesn't really look like much in the picture but I just remember when I created this one and was wearing it I just felt so pretty with it. I just absolutely loved how it looked on my eyes and yeah, just definitely made this one a favorite of mine. So even though it looks a little bit more on the subtle, neutral side, I still think this one was super pretty and it's definitely gave me some confidence when I wore it. So I think that is definitely the mark of a good look. 
All right, next up we have my ColourPop Midnight Masquerade palette, and this is my favorite look I've created with this palette. I think it was just so much fun to create. It allowed me to play around with some of the more colorful shades in this palette, the blue and the green, and I did recently do a somewhat updated version of this look, which was super fun. I just absolutely love the colors in here. I have created quite a few looks with this palette that I have really loved. My most recent look with this palette too, I just posted on my Instagram this past weekend. I just absolutely fell in love with that look too. I used a lot of the matte shades within this one. So this is again a really fun one to play around with for me. Seriously love this palette. Next up we have my Shared Planet Tiger palette and even though this is a neutral palette I feel like I have done quite a bit of variety of looks with this palette so I'm going to show you my favorite and this one seems super simple but I just really loved the shape of it. I loved the, I think I used this shade right here. I fell in love with that shade through this look. I'm also going to show at least one honorable mention with this palette palette because this look is the one that I it was one of the first ones I got like hundreds of likes on and I was just super proud of that it was really kind of a big milestone for me so I really love this look for that reason it's also a super pretty look I really enjoyed creating it as well I loved the color combo but yeah it just made me feel really good because I had a lot of people liking this look and yeah, lots of engagement with this one. But I love this palette. Even though it is neutral, you can still have a ton of fun with this palette. All right, next up we have my Juvia's Place The Nomad palette and I feel like a lot of the looks I've created with this palette just didn't turn out as well as I thought they would in my head, but I do still have a favorite, and this is it. I think this one was super pretty. It's a little bit more on the everyday side for me. I know this might not seem everyday for some people, but for me, these kind of neutrals, a little bit of a smoky eye, definitely fits my everyday makeup style, and I just think it was super pretty. I think any look that includes the center shade here is going to be super pretty. That is just a gorgeous, gorgeous lid shade. So this is one I still enjoy playing around with, especially during the fall season, I feel like. But it's one that I feel like sometimes the looks I create don't really match up to what I had pictured in my head. But I have still gotten some good ones out of this. So next up we have my e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette and... This is another one that I just have a ton of fun playing around with and my favorite looks definitely include kind of these shades over here, the blues and the purples. I have some that incorporate this green shade as well. So this is my favorite look with this palette. I think there are some that are definitely close to this one for my favorite look, but I just really enjoy the more colorful shades in this palette. I definitely love the more neutral shades, especially for every day. This Fuego shade, absolutely love that one for every day. But if I'm going for a more kind of fun, creative look, I definitely enjoy reaching for the blues and the purple shades within this palette. All right, next up we have my Ulta Gryffindor palette, and this is my favorite look from this palette. This one is definitely more on the simple side. I was going back and forth between a couple looks with this palette because there's one that's a little bit bolder and more interesting, but I decided to go with this one because I do really love its simplicity and it also really features my favorite shade, which is Mandrake from this palette. I just really love the tone and the color of that shade, so it being kind of the main focus along with passion is super pretty and yeah, I just really love the look and how easy and wearable it is for me. Then next up we have my Ulta Hufflepuff palette and this is another one I don't have a ton of looks created with 
but I will pop up the one that I would consider my favorite. I definitely like focusing on the yellow shades within this palette. This Galleon shade is one of my favorite yellow mattes within my collection. I just really love the tone of it. And with this look, this was kind of my first time using the shade Burrow, and I really enjoyed that shade. I didn't think it was a favorite of mine, but when I reached for it with this look, I realized that I actually do really enjoy this and have gotten a few more uses out of it since. This is not a palette I reach for a ton. Again, I don't have that many looks created with this palette, but it is still a super cute one and super easy for me to reach for kind of an everyday yellow tone look. Now my Ulta Ravenclaw palette, I have quite a few looks from, and this was definitely a tough choice for me to choose which look was my favorite. I am going to insert the one that I ended up choosing along with a couple of honorable mentions as well because I feel like there are just quite a few looks with this palette that I really do love, but this one's a little bit bolder and fun. I definitely like to focus on the blues within this palette. They are just super fun to reach for. I feel like I'm not overly a blue eyeshadow person, but when it comes to this palette, I think it's so fun, and I think it's great that I can combine it with the more neutral shades within this palette. Alright, then the final Ulta Harry Potter palette is my Slytherin palette, and here is my favorite look from this one. This is one of my first, if not my first, look I created with this palette, and to this day, it is still my absolute favorite. I love the shape of it. I love the intensity of it. I just think this one looked so cool, and it definitely got me out of my comfort zone a little bit. When I got these palettes, color was something I was just starting to get into, and I definitely wasn't doing kind of full, colorful looks and using like the black eyeshadow for my liner and stuff so got me out of my comfort zone and yeah I just think this one was such a cool look. Next up we have my Essence Salute Perry palette and this one is of course a very soft everyday palette so there isn't a ton of variety within the looks I've created but this but this one is my favorite and it's definitely just because of the more fun, creative shape with the liner going up into the crease. It's just a little bit bolder than some of the other looks that I've created with this palette. This one definitely it holds a special place in my heart and in my collection because it is perfect for every day. But yeah, definitely not going to get those super fun, creative looks with this one, but I'm totally okay with that. Next up we have my I Heart Revolution Beauty and the Beast palette and this is my favorite look with this palette and it might not seem like the most exciting. I definitely feel like I've created more exciting looks with this palette but I love this one. This is kind of the look that really got me into this palette. I used Enchantress, Spell, and Beauty kind of blended across my lid and this is the look that really got me into the shade Spell. I did not like that shade when I first got this palette. I thought it was just kind of a weird color. I loved the shade after this look. I was using it a ton. And yeah, this is definitely a look I want to recreate and try and do a little better now that I'm better at makeup. But I, I seriously loved this one. Next up is my I Heart Revolution Cinderella palette, and in an almost all blue palette, this is my favorite look. The most not blue look that I have created with this palette. I do have a nice blue liner with this look, but I really loved how this one came out. This is also one of my first looks that I created with this palette, and still one of my favorites. I just really loved the look of it, the shape of the liner connecting across the lower lash line. I just thought this one was super pretty and a fun color combo with the more pinky shades in here and the blue liner. 
All right, then we have the I Heart Revolution Princess and the Frog palette, and I have a couple looks with this palette that I would consider my favorite, sort of in similar, sort of have a similar look to them with the kind of pinks and green shades mixed together. That is just such a fun color combo within this palette. These five shades right here are definitely my top five within this palette. I absolutely love them and I think they go together really nicely. The halo eye that I created, I would really like to recreate that one because I feel like the picture itself is just super dark and you can't really tell too much how it looks, but I really loved how it turned out and yeah. This was just a super fun color combo and I'm so happy that this palette had that, that I got to play around with it. Alright, next up we have my Wet n Wild Stop Playing Safe palette and this is my favorite look from this one. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm a huge fan of orange and blues together, especially during the summer and I really loved the combo with this palette. I really like this orange kind of creamsicle matte shade and combining it with the blue colors in here was just super fun and yeah, I just really enjoyed how this one came out. Alright, next up we have my ABH Soft Glam Palette and this one is another more neutral palette within my collection but I really loved this look that I created with it and even if I didn't have the little flower cutouts in it, I still think this one would be an absolute favorite of mine. I just really loved how the shades blended together. This formula is one of my favorites within my entire collection, and I just think the shades were so soft and smooth, blended super nicely together, and just created a really pretty look, and I definitely felt really pretty wearing this. Alright, next up we have my Rude Cosmetics Roaring Twenties Carefree Palette and another little bit more neutral palette, more on the purple tone side and I really love this palette but I feel like the looks I've created with it haven't really captured too much how much I do really love this palette so this one is my favorite look and I think it definitely has to do with the more fun shape to it. This is one that I'm really just reaching for on an everyday basis instead of for my Instagram or YouTube just because I'm reaching for kind of more colorful palettes when I want to create looks for social media. But this one was super fun and again, really loved the shape of it and the shimmers in here are super pretty and definitely deserve to be shown off. Next up we have my Rude Cosmetics Roaring Twenties Reckless Palette and this one definitely has a lot more fun colors and I've definitely created a lot more looks for my social media with this one. So here is my favorite that I have created. I just really loved the shape of this and the color combo. The shade Moonshine is what's in the center of my lid and that is one of my favorite shades in this palette. I think it is just a gorgeous duochrome shade. I don't reach for it a ton, but when I do, every time I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I want to reach for it more. So this was definitely a really fun look that I created with this palette. Then we have my Rude Cosmetics Roaring Twenties Neons palette and again, super fun color story. I've created quite a few fun looks with this one, but I think my favorite is still going to be this one. I love how this look came out. I loved the color combo of the orange and the green and the yellow inner corner. I think it's just so pretty and it was so cute and this was a little bit more of an everyday look for me with this palette. As you can see, there are not neutrals in this palette, but I was able to make it work for an everyday look. And when I created this one, I just absolutely fell in love with the color combo and everything. I've created quite a few different color combos with this palette, and I just love every single one of them. This one is so much fun to play around with. Next up we have my Bubella Cosmetics Daisy Days palette and 
My favorite from this one is one of the first looks that I created and this was the look that I had in mind when I bought this palette. I just really loved this one. This is another one I want to recreate because again I feel like the coloring on this look is very shadowed and you can't really see the true colors super well but I did kind of a two-tone look with the more green shades in the inner corner and then the yellows and browns in the outer corner and I just really loved what this one looks like. I love a good two-tone look so this one was super fun. Next up we have my I Heart Revolution Little Mermaid palette and I feel like there are a lot of light pastel colors in here but oddly enough my favorite look is a bit of a darker one. I focused on more of the darker shades, so would bend this one, C, and Alana here. I just really loved how this one came together. I think it really was a fun look to create, and I just really liked the color combo of this one. I definitely enjoy using the lighter shades in here as well, but that one was just really fun and really impactful. Next up we have my Nomad America's Parks palette. This is my very first Nomad palette that I ever bought and I absolutely love this one, love the color story and this is my favorite look that I've created with this one. It was super fun so I put Everglades on the lid, blended it up into the crease and then outlined the winged liner with Blue Ridge Parkway and packed Acadia Lighthouse inside the liner and I just thought it looked super cool. It was a little bit different take on a classic winged liner look and yeah this one was just super fun but I've definitely enjoyed playing around with some of the different color combos that this palette has to offer as well. Moving back to a more neutral palette, this is my Huda Beauty Nude Obsessions Light Palette. This is just a super easy one for me to reach for on a daily basis. And here is my favorite look with this one. Super light, but I really enjoyed the like shimmery inner portion and then blended out into kind of a full matte look in the outer corner. I feel like the colors don't show up super well in this look just because this is of course a lighter palette, but I really enjoyed this look and I thought it was super pretty. Next up we have my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and here's my favorite look with this one. If you couldn't tell, I really love purples. They're one, it's one of my favorite color of eyeshadows and I had a lot of fun playing around with the more purple shades within this palette. I think this look is what helped me get pan in Twilight so really enjoyed using those shades. There are definitely quite a few other shades in here I enjoy as well and this is an easy one for me to reach for on a daily basis. I like the warmer tones in here as well but purples definitely have my heart. Next up we have my NYX Ultimate Utopia palette and this look seems pretty simple but I just absolutely loved it. I love how it came out. So I used this shade as a nice winged liner and then combined kind of these more green shades along the lower lash line and into the inner corner and I just thought that was super fun. It was an easy way for me to reach for some of the colorful shades in here and still have a more wearable everyday look. So really, really loved this one. Next up we have my I Heart Revolution Aladdin palette and I've created some really fun color combos, but I think my favorite would have to be this one. Another two-tone sort of look, and again, really love what these ones look like. I think it's super fun, so used the more yellowy toned shades in the inner portion, and then the more pinky purple toned shades in the outer corner of my eye, and I just really loved how this one came out. These two shades here are two of my favorites within this palette, so those ones were super fun to reach for with this look, and yeah, just really love this style and the color combo of it. Next up we have my Hot Topic Winnie the Pooh Halloween palette, and 
With this one, I really just want to share every look I've created with this palette. So I'll pop up what I would probably consider my favorite and then probably a few little honorable mentions as well. I have talked about this before, but when I got this palette, I did not expect it to be as good as it is. I think the quality is very good, especially for what I was expecting with this palette. And I have created quite a few looks with this palette. Every time I create a new look, I'm like, this is my new favorite. So really love this palette. I have enjoyed the neutral shades. I've enjoyed the green shades. I feel like even though this is themed for Halloween, I've definitely created some fun, more springy looks. So this is one I can definitely use all year round and I really do love it. Next up we have my Bibella Cosmetics Lotus Love Palette and this was another one that I had a little bit of a hard time deciding which look to use, but I did end up going with this one just because I did like the color combo of it. I thought the pop of the bluey green shade here was really fun for the inner half of the lid and then blended in, of course, with the different pinks within this palette. Definitely a bolder look than I would go for on a daily basis, but that is definitely what makes this one fun. I have had a lot of fun playing around with this palette, even though it is a very pinky purple palette. I feel like there is still quite a bit of variety that you can do with it, and yeah, this is one that I do enjoy playing around with as well. Alright, two more palettes I want to talk about for this video. This one is my Bubella Cosmetics O Poppy palette, and this is my favorite look that I have created with this one, a pretty much all matte except for the inner corner look, and I just really loved how the shades blended together. I think the shape of it was really fun, and I just really enjoyed it. This is one of the first looks that I created with this palette, and still one of my favorites. I do really enjoy the mattes in these palettes. I do like the shimmers in this one as well, but I feel like the mattes are kind of where I prefer to use, what I prefer to use within these palettes, and this was just a fun, kind of summery, warm-toned look. Alright, then the last palette I want to talk about today is my Bibella Sweet Sunflower palette, and I was between two looks for this one, and they're two kind of opposite looks, so I'm going to pop them both up because honestly I could not decide between the two of them. So one of them is a little bit lighter, brighter, more everyday look, and then the other one kind of focuses on a little bit of the darker shades. I know I use the shade Summertime to across the lid and then I think probably put Paradise in the center of the lid. Really enjoyed how both of these looks came out and I like that you can go from the lighter looks to these kind of darker, more intense looks as well. So that will conclude today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, I will probably have the second part of this up on Friday, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Let me know what you guys thought, which look from today's video was your favorite. And with all of that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!